Hello, welcome to Mastering Statistics. This will be our last problem where we're doing hypothesis testing of means with large number of samples and using this p-value method. Of course, we'll be using p-values much uh, a great bit in the future, but this will be the last type of problem where we're doing large sample sizes of population means. All right, so we have the government says that the average weight of adult males is 162.9 pounds or greater. Presumably that comes from a study somewhere. A researcher thinks that this is too large. He does a study of 39 males and sets the and, and he gets say, an average weight of 160.1 pounds from his data with a standard deviation of 5.6 pounds. At the .01 level of significance, test this claim. So clearly this is about the, the average weight of adult males. Clearly all the weights are going to be different, right? But we're looking for the average number of, of uh, the males in the population. We can't test everybody, so what we do is we take a subsample, 39 in this case. We get some data from that, and then we want to see if the information we get is statistically significant enough to allow us to reject the null hypothesis or not. So the first step is let's write down the null hypothesis. It is a mean, the average weight, right? And the government says that it's greater than or equal to 162.9 pounds. And so therefore the alternate must be the opposite of this, one, less than 162.9 pounds. So greater than or equal to this, less than or that. These are opposites of one another. All right, so what does the researcher do? He thinks that this number was too big. That's why we have a left-hand arrow like this. So he grabs as many people as he can. He's not very... Uh, he's not very uh, hard worker. He can only get 39 people to weigh themselves. And they get an average value of these people of 160.1 pounds and a sample standard deviation of 5.6 pounds. All right. So clearly you can see that it, you might think that it's already going to be lining up with this. We're saying his uh, research hypothesis is less than 162.9. And that's certainly what he got. So he's pretty happy. Uh, but then he goes over here and says we're testing at a level of significance 0.01. Alright. From this, you should know right away that the level of confidence is 0.99. These have to add up to 1. So this is basically a 99% level of confidence sort of deal. Also, because the arrow points to the left, this is going to be a left tail test. And we're going to be using a normal distribution because he was managed, he was able to get more than 30 samples. So we don't have to use the T distribution or degrees of freedom or anything like that. So here, we're going to draw a little sketch of our distribution. It's a normal distribution. It's always centered about zero and it's a left tail test. All right, so this data is collected. We don't 